Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to the face of Allah. Powerful by a merciful servant yet again guys to say that this video was recommended upon popular request would be an absolute Understatement every single day. I'm getting requests for this particular video. So with no further ado, let's have a look You shall see your Lord just as you see this full moon You shall see your Lord the comparison is to the people looking at the moon and the people looking at Allah You will see your Lord just as you see this full moon, no one will be fighting, no one will be arguing to see it. Everyone will be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. God willing. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not Jannah. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not the things inside of Jannah. Rather, the greatest blessing of Jannah is something even more than Jannah itself. Allah says in the Quran, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَى وزيادة. Those who do good, they shall get Al-Husna, which is the name of Jannah. They shall get Al-Husna وزيادة, and they will get more than Jannah. What could possibly be more than Jannah? Only God. Our Prophet explained this verse. He made a tafsir of this verse. And he said, when the people of Jannah have entered Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, Oh my servants, are you happy? The people of Jannah will say, yes, O oh Allah, we are. Allah will say, oh my servants, is there anything more that you want? The people of Jannah will say, and what could we want more than this, O oh Allah? Have you not caused us to enter this paradise? What more could we want? Then, the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lift the veil, yakshiful hijab, and they will look at his face. And they will not be given anything better and more noble than the looking at his face. And this is the ziyada that the Quran talks about. This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. Wahadihi ziyada. This is the thing that is more than Jannah. Allah says in the Quran, I like the explanation of Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq when we talked about those extremities, when we talked about those body parts of Allah. He said that they cannot be understood literally. That if you look, for example, at the foot of a mountain, we're not talking about a regular foot. We're looking at rocks and those rocks are nothing like a human foot. So therefore, the face of Allah is, of course, not like a human face or a face even because there is nothing in creation that is like Allah. <laughs> You're only spending your money to see the face of Allah. You're spending your money fi sabilillah to see the face of Allah. Allah says you're being good to your relatives in order to see the face of Allah. Allah says you're being patient. They're being patient in order to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Quran tells us that when we see... I absolutely love the monotheism that the greatest reward for the believer is seeing his Lord. That is such a great distinguishment to any other faith, if you really think about it. You're not concerned with saints. You're not even concerned with prophets at that point anymore. All you want to see is your God, and your God is the greatest reward. This is pure monotheism. The face of Allah. When we see the face of Allah, our faces will become bright and shining. We all know the verse. وُجُوهٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ نَاظِرَةٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهَا نَاظِرَةٌ On that day, Faces will be shining bright. Now they're up. They're going to be shining bright. Why? Because they will be looking at their Lord. And this shows us that looking at the face of Allah is the greatest blessing given to us. And that face has been Makes described sense. as wal -ikram. The face has been described as a face of Jalal. And Jalal means magnificence. Jalal means honor. 
Jalal means magnificence and Ikram means nobility. The face of Allah is a face of honor and a face of nobility. Why? Because anybody who sees that face has been honored beyond anyone else. Anyone who sees that face has been given an honor and a nobility that no one else will possess. And that face of Allah, we will not see it in this world. Musa no asked, No matter how deep I went into spiritual experiences, the face, so to speak, of God, you will never see. You can see the light of God. You can feel God. You can feel connected to God. But you will never see the face of God. It's absolutely impossible to see him whilst you're alive. But Allah I said, agree. you don't have the power. You don't have the, the power, the capability. That is something only in the next life. And a famous yeah. hadith, of Abu Dhar al-Ghifari. After Isra al-Mi'raj, when the Prophet ﷺ went up and he went to a place higher than Jibreel, the Jibreel, Jibreel took him up and Jibreel said, I cannot go anymore. Now you have to go on your own. I'm not allowed beyond this point. So the Prophet ﷺ went higher than any created being has ever been. Wow. Then he came back down. Abu Dhar al-Ghifari asked him, this hadith is in Sahih Muslim. Very beautiful hadith, very interesting hadith. Ya Rasulallah, hal ra'ayta rabbak? Beautiful hadith. O Messenger of Allah, did you see your Lord? Did you see your Lord? And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Noor anna ara. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? I can totally Noor relate. Noor anna ara. There Guys, again, disclaimer here. Everything I'm sharing is simply my own experience. I'm not saying this to promote anything. And I'm not even saying that this is therefore correct, right or wrong. It's simply my experience, simply my perspective, hence the channel's name. I can totally relate to this hadith because this is what I witnessed in my spiritual experiences. Light everywhere. Everything became illuminated by God's light. But this light is so bright that you cannot see the face of God. That you cannot see the creator himself you can feel him you can even witness him in a way but you cannot see him physically it was light Absolutely everywhere amazing. how could i see him what, what light is he talking about what is this light our prophet system explained in another hadith he clarified in another hadith and this hadith is reported in abu by abu huraira in sahih muslim as well and in it he said allah azza wa jal has taken a hijab Hijabuhu nur right. Allah's hijab is nur. Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. By hijab we mean a covering. Allah a covering or a barrier, right? Allah has taken a hijab. Yeah. What is that hijab? You see, for us the hijab, the hijab covers the beauty. It covers the beauty and it envelops the beauty. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hijab itself is beauty. Yes. And what is covered is beyond imagination. Yes. What it covers is beyond what the mind can comprehend. So our Prophet ﷺ said, Hijabuhun Nur. Allah's hijab is light. Kashafahu, Makes sense. If he were to lift that hijab, The rays of light that come from Allah's face would destroy everything that it sees. The beauty the radiance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so powerful that the creation cannot bear to see it. So when the creation cannot bear to see it, out of mercy for the creation, Allah has veiled himself from us in this dunya. And what is his veil? His veil itself is light. So when our Prophet went up all the way to Isra wal Mi'raj, he saw the veil of Allah. Yeah. So when Abu Dhar asked him, what did you see? Did you see Allah? He said, Noor Anna Ara. There was the light. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Thank you very much for the recommendation. Very powerful indeed. I understand now why you wanted me to react to it. As I said during the video, I can absolutely relate to this. It brings back memories from my spiritual experiences, and I would testify the same. Yet again, not saying that therefore it is correct, and therefore you have to take this as truth. I'm not a scholar. I don't want to compare my experience to Prophet Muhammad's experience here. I simply say what I 
I saw and I remember this light very very vividly it's an all-encompassing light you can describe it if you want as pure love as pureness in itself something absolutely out of this world not comparable to any light in particular of course when we look around everything is illuminated by the sun but God's light shines of course so much brighter than any sun could ever do more than that if you look at the colors in this creation you see of course a breaking down of light very similar to light that shines through a prism we can see this reoccurring in a rainbow for example when the light breaks and all the colors appear however within god's light you don't have that breaking point god's light is absolutely pure it is as white as you could possibly imagine but honestly we cannot even imagine it all right guys but this is it for today's video thank you so much again for the recommendation if you liked it leave the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel via patreon for example all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for that all right guys but this is it as always may god bless you all much love and peace